Fireseed is a community of artists, over 20 artists. My name is Rick Van Dyke. I uh, can't wait to get there every day. I am there every day. Um, and it's kind of like watching the tide come in and out, the life of the ocean. We've been at Pottery Studio for 17 or 18 years. We're in a complex with other artists, photographers, painters, metal sculptors. Thornton Road Studios is probably the oldest, longest running cooperative of artists in the city of Austin. I've been working with clay for almost 20 years. So I roll out slabs uh, either with a rolling pin or I have a giant slab roller if I want to uh, make really large slabs. So it starts out flat and then I have hundreds of objects to drape the clay over and to change it into three-dimensional shape. I love texture. I'm infatuated with texture and I have to put texture on almost everything. So I have tubs of doilies, floor mats, uh, anything I can find that gives me texture. There's uh, something about doing things together. We've created an incubator for creativity. A lot of artists work solo, they work by themselves. Um, and in our space we have no walls. Um, it's a real community and it really makes a different kind of way of working. Um, so if you, if you want to come in and uh, be left alone, you can put headphones on and make a little bubble. But um, by opening yourself up to other people's input uh, it really creates a wealth of ideas um, and we kind of springboard off of each other and so you end up with something a whole lot more than you could on your own. In our studio everybody really is trying to make something different. Uh, we have people making anything from dinnerware to sculpture. Some people like minimalists, some people like crazy busy, some people like geometric, some people like organic, and we rub off on each other. Watch that happen too. Um, we're somebody that likes things neat lines and straight. Uh, they'll um, be challenged by somebody next to them who likes loosey-goosey, likes some more organic shape, and they'll, uh, it's kind of encouraging for them to um, push their limits, push their comfort uh, boundaries. I find that I feed off of other people's energy and they feed off mine. Play is therapy. I watch people come in and out and uh, stressed from life, stressed from driving around in traffic even, and they touch clay and they get happy. They relax. Um, they probably exercise the demons into the clay and then we fire them out. <laughs> uh, loading the kiln is it's like a puzzle, trying to figure out how everything can fit together. I love um, fitting as much work as I can into the kiln. So I'll, I'll, I spend hours loading and unloading the kiln, but I, I, I enjoy it, strangely enough. 
Then unloading the kiln is like Christmas morning or Easter um, and you get all this color and all these surprises and uh, it's, it's like a birthday open in the presents. It's very exciting. Uh, it's fun when everybody else is there and lots of oohs and ahs and ohs. <laughs> it's a very exciting time. All that culmination of work comes flying out when you open the kiln. <laughs>